So the votes are all in in the 2020 Grunt Tube Challenge, and now it's time to find out how your favorite tube compared to the others. Hey everybody, I'm Michael Batiste and this is Elk Calling Academy. On this channel we do elk call reviews, gear reviews, elk calling lessons, tips, and tutorials a lot like this one. So if you're new to the channel or you like the content we're creating, make sure that you subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. Here we are at the 2020 Grunt Tube Challenge reveal. And I want to thank all of you for watching the video, casting your votes and comments. And it's kind of interesting because there was comments where people were voting for a certain tube and they left the comment of, oh, that has to be such and such tube or this brand's tube or this or that. And I really think you guys are going to be surprised by the results of these. There are some old school tubes that I threw in this year and, of course, some new ones that hit the market. Now, the purpose of this is to show you, and a few of you made that comment, that any of the tubes would work on calling an elk. And that's specifically what this was for. You remove all of the influences, all of the brands and this and that, and you basically just go off sounds that each one can produce. Now, everybody hears something a little bit different. Everybody looks for a little bit different sound, um, but there definitely was some clear favorites in this. So, all right, let's jump into it. So tube number one received 17% of the first place votes. And tube number one, is the Extreme Bully Bull from Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. Uh, the Extreme Bully Bull has been on the market for a few years. It's been an extremely popular tube. It does have a flared end on it, a uh, little thicker plastic, does really produce some good back pressure that if you're new to calling, the advantage of back pressure is it helps you with note stability. It means that the air is just not gonna run right out, that it kind of dams up a little bit and kind of helps you as a new caller. The advantage of a flared end is you can actually put your lips inside of it. And for some people, when they're lip balling, that's a huge advantage. It's extremely comfortable and they just work really, really well on that flared end. Now, again, everybody's a little bit different whether you want a flared end or a narrowed end. So tube number one, extreme bully bull, Rocky Mountain hunting calls. Okay, tube number two, is a newer tube on the market. It didn't replay, it didn't receive any first place votes, but it did receive quite a few votes kind of in the third and fourth spot. And that is tube number two, is the Power Bugle Pro from Elk Incorporated. It's a tube that they just came out with last year, a year before, and it does come with the Power Bugle mouthpiece that obviously I took off. Now it does have a larger, softer, end on it which you can really put your lips in and one thing I did was this is a, a bell from the Mac howler that I just glued into the tube to kind of give a little bit of expansion on the end this is the only tube in this year's lineup that is flexible that is extendable I use this quite a bit in the 2019 elk calling or elk season I just kind of used a tube holder from Bendable Products and had it up on my up on my back. And you know, you could basically just reach underneath and call. So for you solo guys, this is a great option for you because you can have it on the edge of your pack, but you can just reach underneath, call with it, let it go, and it's always hanging right there. So great option for a single. Now, because this is a larger tube, that back pressure that we talked about on the first tube it's not really there, so you're gonna have to create your own back pressure. Now, there are reducers and this and that that you can get that will help with back pressure, so you can really tailor this thing. The other nice thing I like about this tube is you have the ability to use a diaphragm reed, but then you can also pop in that power bugle mouthpiece if you just wanted to give a little bit different pitch or tone or frequency or this or that. Or for those of you that can't use a diaphragm reed, this with that power bugle mouthpiece would be a great option. All right, tube number three in the lineup received 52% of the first place votes. This is the one that received the most first place votes. Tube number three is the Renegade from Phelps Game Calls. 
it is a little bit shorter it is one of the larger diameter tubes and it does have a smaller end now the thing about the smaller end is you know we talked about the flared end with tube number one the smaller end some people find that it's easier to lip ball or produce that display bugle on this smaller end this tube does a great job at back pressure note stability um, providing the volume that you need and that bottom end so all in all the renegade actually checks all the boxes for somebody that is looking for something that has volume depth good note stability with the back pressure it may not you may like a flared end so this one may not work for you but tube number three receiving the most votes renegade from Phelps game calls tube number four received 5% of the first place votes. And this is actually the largest tube on in this year's lineup. And that's the tube from Smith Game Calls out of Canada. It is a solid one piece tube, again, about the same diameter on the bell end as the Renegade, but it also incorporates the flared end like the Extreme Bully Bull with a longer throat in it. Um, this tube produces insane amounts of volume. So if you don't mind packing a larger tube and you want something that's gonna give you a lot of volume to really reach out, you need to check out this tube from Smith. It is made with a little heavier plastic, which the advantage of the heavier plastic means it kind of takes out a little bit of the plastic ting or the plastic vibration when you're calling on it. Um, Again, this, the way this tube is built, it does produce nice back pressure. So for you beginner callers, note stability is going to definitely really be an advantage with the Smith. Okay, tube number five received 26% of the first place votes. So this received the second highest amount of first place votes. This one has been on the market for a couple of years, and it is the Rump Shaker from Wapiti River Outdoors. Um, a few advantages of this is the good size or good diameter on the bell that allows, you know, the, the so, or notes to expand. It also gives you de good depth on the bottom end. It does have a flared mouthpiece, but it's a, it's a rubber mouthpiece. It's soft. It's comfortable. Um, it does really allow for good lip balls for people that like the flared ends. It also is the only tube that comes with a couple of reed holders built within the cover. Um, again, I hunted uh, two, three years ago with the rump shaker. Um, insane volume, incredible depth, uh, worked really, really well that season that hunted with it. And I'll tell you what, that rubber flared end was comfortable as all get out. And it's not one of those that is really large. Um, it does have a smaller diameter in the bottom. So again, that's gonna give you incredible back pressure and really, really help with your note stability. So again, this one kind of checks all those boxes for comfort on the mouthpiece, uh, good tone, good volume, good depth, checks it across the board. So for those of you that really liked tube number five, Rump Shaker from Wapiti River Outdoors. Okay, finally, tube number six. Again, didn't receive any first place votes, uh, but did receive a few second place votes and third place votes. And this is the old school tube. This is the Monarch from Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. This tube has not been in production in quite a few years, but if you get creative, you can actually find a few out there from people that have had them lying around. Now, I took off the reduced mouthpiece on this um, and had the larger mouthpiece on it. So, again, it, because a larger mouthpiece, it doesn't have incredible back pressure, but it has a little bit more. And if you do use that reducer mouthpiece on it, that will give you a little bit more back pressure as well. Um, it does have a flexible on, or flexible tube portion on it so that you can direct that call where you want it to go. So, all right, there you have it. There's the results of the 2020 Grunt Tube Challenge. Again, I thank all of you for casting your votes. I will put links down below to each of the tubes so that the one that you like, you can definitely go and pick that up for yourself. As always, keep calling, keep practicing. Most importantly, they'll have fun. And we'll see you guys on the next video brought to you by Elk Calling Academy.